Hello and welcome to uh, a video. It's the end of March, nearly in April. I have made a video previous to this, uh, which I'm not going to upload. It was a ranting, really kind of God, just depressing video because uh, I was so annoyed with what happened to me last week. It's really come out, and I don't, I don't want to show that one because it's not right. Um, and I'm just going to touch on it quickly, what I wanted to say. In the UK, we have to pay um, a duty on any tobacco we import to the United Kingdom. Um, call it customs charge. So we have to pay one of those, and we have to pay a Royal Mail handling fee by the Royal Mail, who deliver the parcel to us. So to put it in their office, and then for the postman to deliver it to us. So uh, um, I'm happy to pay. See, I'm getting annoyed now, uh, again, and I shouldn't. Uh, let me tell you what I'm smoking, and then I'll gather my thoughts. I'm smoking a barling, which is this pipe here. Lovely pipe, beautiful grain. And in it, I'm smoking some of Nick's lovely. I'm officially on the town with some Frog Morton on the town. Uh, he's just come out of the opera. He's had a few brandies, I would have thought, while he's in there. Watched uh, the opera, and he's come out and he's. He's enjoying a nice bowl full of his favourite tobacco. This has got basma in it, and Chris asked me about it. Uh, it's a uh, tobacco I think you can only find in Greece. It's an oriental tobacco, very, very hard to cultivate. And so hard that I believe McClelland couldn't source it anymore. Uh, uh, one of the reasons why they... You know, perhaps the final nail in their coffin. Anyway, without getting annoyed, I'm going to tell you what happened to me last week. Um, I'd made some orders at Smoking Pipes because I wanted some McClellan tobacco before they closed. And I was able to do that and I ordered it. Then I got the dreaded grey uh, note through the post to say I owed some... Um, duty which is absolutely fine happy to pay my taxes happy to pay duty but when the price fluctuates so ridiculously you get quite annoyed about it so this here arrived and I paid £40 duty this is Deep Hollow by McClelland very pleased to have this, haven't tried it before, but £40 duty, so I thought, right, uh, this is the way it's going, it's going to cost me a lot of money. Then I got another grey note through the door, and that was 200 grams, and the price for duty was £17. So I thought, what's going on? 100 grams that I've just got was 40 pounds. 200 grams, 17 pounds. And then this arrived, which is Balkan Blue, and the duty on that was 22 pounds. Random numbers plucked from the sky by Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs. That was really, really frustrating. The reason it's frustrating is because there's some tobaccos that you want to purchase because you can't get in the United Kingdom. But you can't plan ahead. You can't think to yourself, well, if I buy 100 grams, that's £15 uh, customs charge, or that's £5 customs charge, and the £8 Royal Mail handling fee. You can't think about that, because HMRC pluck a figure out the air and say that's what you owe. Uh, I believe that's illegal. Uh, they need to get it right, they need to read the label um, and if it says 100 grams then you charge appropriately if it says 200 you charge appropriately they're obviously not reading it and they're plucking figures out the sky 
I'm getting annoyed again. I'm going to have a sip of coffee. And then poor Malcolm got a charge for £104, I believe, for, I think it was only 150 grams of tobacco. Uh, that's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. And that has completely put him off purchasing from smoking pipes um, in the States now because of that. Uh, and other people just aren't going to order, um, which ultimately means HMRC lose out on revenue. So if people aren't importing these things, then they're not making money from people importing it. Which leads me on to the next point. If they get it so wrong all the time, they were go are going to force people to not declare it. So if you've got friends in, friends in the United States who say, I'll send you some tobacco, and it arrives on your front door, and it's not declared, HMRC have lost out again. So, you know, if anyone from HMRC is watching, if you, and this is really serious, if you get it right, and you say 100 grams of tobacco, pipe tobacco, equals eight pound whatever in charges, people will know and people will be happy to declare it and say 200 grams of tobacco from the United States to the UK, that's 22 pounds. Fine, brilliant, then we know that. But when you pick numbers out the sky, you reach a point where people will go, oh, I've just, uh, my battery, there we go. People will just not bother. So there you go. Anyway, I'm sorry for the rant, which is very rare for me. What I'm enjoying about this tobacco is the huge body of smoke generates. Sometimes you puff away on a pipe and you might get a few wisps. Look at that. It's just it's generating so much and it didn't have really much drying time either. But it's so rich, full of flavour, really tasty lovely proportion of Latakia, not too much. Mm. What a fantastic tobacco. You can't get it anymore, <laughs> which is my next point. All of these tobaccos, I think I would have gone, no, I'm not paying the, the customs charge if they were you know, some other tobaccos. But as it's um, McClellan tobaccos, which we're not going to see now, um, I thought I had to. So um, I've got some more. Um, and especially this um, Frog on the Town. So I think I've got a couple of these. Then I've got about four cellars. I've got three Balkan Blues, um, I've got two Frog on the Logs and a few other bits uh, and that will do me for McClelland. Um, I see since McClelland have closed Cornell and Deal and certainly GLP's tobaccos are flying off the shelves. I don't know if that's a kind of instant reaction to the closure. But, uh, you know, good for them, uh, especially uh, Gregory, who is a, a really good guy. And um, I do like a lot of his blends. Anyway, I'm off to Tenerife next week, so I'll see you when I get back. I'm going to have a look around the Tabacos um, stores in uh, Spain. Hopefully I can come back with uh, a few different tobaccos. 
So I hope everyone has a really good week, and I apologise for that rant, really, uh, about customs. And, uh, yeah, hopefully that my next video will be a bit more upbeat. Um, so I apologise for that. just want to say thank you guys for watching and your messages and things. And, you know, I read everyone's message and reply to them. Um, and people who subscribe, uh, I really appreciate that as well. And... Uh, send me a message and I'll reply. Thanks guys, have a great week. Take it easy. Bye.